Hi, it's Beth from Instructional Tech, and I'm going to go over how you can add students to your Canva account, how you can put them in groups, and how you can integrate into Canvas. So first off, you have your Canva account. If you don't have one set up, you want to go to canva.com slash education. And then you can just click get verified here. And then if you have, I'm going to show you what it looks like. If you have just the free account, it will look like this and that little crown will be there. Uh, so if you, that's the case, you want to then go to this link and get verified and it will just bump that account to um, the premium one. And you want to make sure that you use your Google, um, your school email address for that or it won't recognize that you're a teacher. And the nice thing with Canva is that they provide everything that they offer for premium users, they offer free for teachers. Um, and they're very, like I, I know they won't take it away because they're very passionate about providing this for teachers, um, which is really awesome. So for our students and for our, um, let me go back to that account. For our students, they're gonna be under people. And I find that by going to account settings and then I have people right here and I can click add people. I've already invited one of my students here. Um, and so you'll see here all of your students. If you have students from your last year, you can go ahead and click all of them and delete them from your class so that you are ready for the new year. Okay, so for our students, they're gonna also log in with their Google account and this is what it will look like for them. If they don't do this process, they won't, also, they won't have that um, premium account set up for them. Um, I've worked with students who've worked in Canva with their teachers and half of the class had this premium account and the other half didn't. So you wanna make sure that you do this process at the beginning of the year, you get all of your students into Canva, Canva and then you'll be good to go. So you can see right here, the kid can keep their work if they so desire after they graduate, which is awesome. And then I'm going to refresh this page and it will show that my I have a new student. There we go. I can also make other students teachers. If you have a co-teacher, this is great. And so now if you, a, if you have multiple classes that you teach, um, this, this group of people is going to be all of your students. And then we're going to put them into groups and that's like our classes. So we can... I have classes here. We can create group up here. We'll add them. Yeah, Al Holly to our class. We can add our group name, our four. And then we'll go back to groups and here we go. Um, and this is nice for sending um, activities, for sharing resources. You can share them with your group or with all of your kids. Um, let me go back to my main account. And if we go over to classwork here, this is our class work. And this is where we see everything that our students have done. Um, not We can't filter this with groups, which is unfortunate, but you can um, see, you can kind of filter whatever needs reviewed, you can do it that way and approved in that. Um, the nice thing that if you have a lot of students and a lot of classes, we can do this whole integration process with Canvas. Um, I'm gonna go over that later. So if you go into your settings and then go to class details, you can change um, kind of your details about your class. I can send work to Say I have a brainstorming activity that I want to share with my teacher, I can click this button right here, send a teacher, write a message, you're the best. And then send to that teacher. And then for the teacher, a little notification, it takes a little bit, um, will pop up here. Let's refresh that not yet but it's right here and it says need needs review which is nice usually it does pop up here it's just a little
Alpha. I'm going to now go over how you can integrate your Canva with Canvas. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to Settings. You're going to go to LMS Integration. And it's right here, Consumer Key, Shared Secret. I'm blurring it out, so again, this isn't used. Um, and if you've never integrated an app with Canvas, all you do is you go to Settings. You go to Apps. And then you search Canva and then click add app and that's where you would put that consumer key in shared secret. Once that's done, it's going to go right over here, Canva for education. Um, for your students who are in this class, if they click that, it will have them go to Canva, prompt them to log in with Google and it will put them in your class. Um, I, that's what I've tested. I've only tested it with one account because um, I was only able to do it with one account. So hopefully that works. If that doesn't work, then do the other way, which I talked about at the beginning, um, adding it with that code or emailing it or with that link. Um, so you wanna make sure you check on that. If you'll know if a student has the premium Canva account if they have access to all of the photos. If they don't have a premium account, they'll have some of the photos will have a little crown on it, and that means that they can't use it. Um, it looks like stock images, so there's lines showing that you can't use that. Another nice thing with integrating this into Canvas is that when you go to assignments, let me add a new assignment, Canva example. I can go to that plug, Canva for Education. I can click this design, embed it in the page, or I can link the text. And I can, let me embed it in the page, and then new design for each student. And that link right here is what they would click to start that activity um, that I have there. I can also make that bigger so that they see that. And then save and publish. So for the student, they would click this. And then there you go. They can, once they're done, they can um, copy the link. They, they can, this is a test student, so um, I'm assuming they can just publish it to Canvas as a student. Again, I've never used this with um, within Canvas because I don't have my own account and, I, can't, and um, I can't test it out. So that's something that you wanna make sure I'm not too familiar with, but um, that's kind of an easy way just to integrate it into Canvas. If you have any questions about Canva, um, or integrating it into Canvas and adding students, drop it in the comments. Um, make sure you like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.